and welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses and we're concluding today our Words of Wisdom series with From an Old Master Trainer to Young Trainers with Nuno Oliveira. So it's the Classical Principles of the Art of Training Horses Volume 2. Volume 1 we have in a previous series. So today, no chapter number because it's just to finish. It's the end notes, so to speak which are so beautiful, I thought deserved, I was going to finish it on the last chapter, I thought, no, this deserves a whole show of its own. So, to finish. More than 40 years of serious teaching to benefit the riders make that all the things that I write in this book, the result of that experience and of all of my love of the horse. The times, they change. There's a tendency to have fashions, but horses, they stay the same. When I was young, I had a chance to have a real master and we learnt before anything to make the balance better of any young horse. Sometimes with a horse that at first seems not to have big qualities, but with patience and progression based on the knowledge of the rider's tact and observation, gives us a surprise, gives us in the end, a completely different horse. I mean, how wonderful that you can actually improve on nature and make the horse better. Um, yeah, that's how it should be, I love that. Nowadays, we see horses in the beginning without enormous movements, balance and conformation, and we put aside these horses. The tendency is to know only one system of training and to use that one system only with horses that have many good qualities. But in the rider, if the rider is capable to love his horse and if he knows the capacity of the horse and if the rider studied the horse and the real equerres, the horse studied the horses, the real equerres rode during the centuries. With the results of these studies, then lots of poor horses we think are bad we could change into good horses. In all arts, the artists learn the techniques, all the details of that technique, and now he makes his masterpiece, which is the result of all that technique with love. So, wonderful. I just love that, that he says most of all, the rider, and he puts first, who is capable to love his horse. It's wonderful. And this is um, signed off in Australia, 31st of January, 1986. So really towards the end of his life. Um, yeah, it's just, um, you know, the attention to love and uh, that care of attention to the horse. It's, it's just so wonderful. Um, and there is a little memorandum here on the last page, which we'll just finish with. For the riders, very advanced in the art and with a perfect seat and a very fine equestrian tact, well developed. Of course, it's not necessary to ask a horse to trot or canter backwards, but with a horse, strong and with very good hawks, who's achieved a piaf or canter on the spot very light, you come backwards imperceptibly, not by traction of the reins, but more with the reins a little loose. So there's a goal for us to all ride towards. And I guess also, um, you know, I love the thing how he says about horses that you might be written off because of not being, having such perfect physical confirmation. You know, I remember Miguel, we had a horse that he used to call uh, numero uno, number one, it was his best horse. And you looked at that horse and you could pick out fault, 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 fault. But that horse had a heart of gold and a desire to work. And he was incredible. You know, he could do Spanish trot, which is like a Spanish, what you know, trot, and they put the legs straight up there which takes a lot and of course he wasn't a particularly strong horse but his desire to work and he just had a kind of bounce and energy in him so it's not always only about the physical and the you know the look of the horse okay so I'm going to stop rambling now <laughs> close off for today before another plane screams over and disturbs us and yeah that's the end with this with Nuno for now until we find another one. So thank you for your time and listening to me today, being here in the straw shed and keep tuning into the light and I'll look forward to see you in the next series. <laughs>